some of it down. Uh, Toxicity, biggest local band of all time. Rock and Ring 2024. I'm here with Fit for King. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Hey. How are you doing? Doing great. How are you? Good, good thanks. How are you? Very good. It's your first time at Rock and Ring? Very first time. Yeah. yeah. What is your first impression? That was amazing. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah there was, I should probably hold the mic up. Yeah, there was probably so, you should do that. Yeah. Uh, there were so many people. I, I didn't know how it would be because we're opening up the main stage, but so many people showed up that was amazing great that sounds yeah. great yeah cool cool so we got something special today everyone of you picked an album from our selection of the of some fuse and uh, i picked two yeah you picked two already and you can al already I start with, uh, with, with the, the abr one i feel like is a group fifth choice we, yeah it's like a we love abr Big shout we stand abr Big in shout this out. house so. You, you also did a feature with uh, Jake, right? Oh, Later, yeah. two yes. years, I guess. Two years ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's yeah. that's probably that's one of you know top three bands that we've toured with more than any other yeah. band. We've done three of their headliners. We did Warp Tour together, I and mean, we've done a lot as a, you know friends. And we yeah, we love that band. I mean, they are big icons of the metalcore scene in in the U.S. and worldwide and stuff. And uh, uh, what's the most memorable song of the of the album? Whitewashed. Whitewash. Wiener, 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 wiener. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Thanks, dude. I think I like my favorite might be Meddler. I think that's a cool song. I like Meddler a lot. The whole thing is really good. I mean, yeah. it's an iconic uh, video for Meddler as well. Yeah, and it's a like that's a top tier metalcore record. Like Matt, one of the best drummers yeah. to ever, yeah. and like they just have a style that's only theirs. Okay. Okay. You know. So, yeah, do you guys own the record, uh, actually? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I had it. I don't know where it is. I lost okay, a lot all right, of my all right, all right, all right. CDs. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, cool. their drummer is, like, responsible for... He's, like, a big influence. <laughs> and my, my first drum kit that I got yeah. custom-ordered is, like, I tried to copy him. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I was, right, like, 17. Yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. All right. Well, we can talk about the cleansing now. If you'd like. Yeah, you, you want to talk about the cleansing? Go for it. Go for it. Texas will be able to recognize your fucking face. <laughs> that's it. That's that's, that's, that's everything that's you say, it, say about that's the That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, every, uh, as well, an iconic album for Death Coast scene, right? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a staple. Uh, R.I.P. Mitch, she's one of the greatest to ever. Uh, yeah, they sure. still, I mean, we played a festival with Suicide, like, pretty, I don't know, maybe a year ago. It sounded unreal awesome. Great guys, super kind. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I... That record is untouchable. Also, Girl of Glass is on that record. There's also a new deathcore band called oh, I heard Girl of them. Glass, and they're sick. Yeah, I so bet you can say. Listen to them, whatever. Go do it. It's I great. love that the new deathcore bands are sounding like this album right Dude, again. them, Tracheotomy, like some of these young bands. Psychoframe, are, awesome band. Dude, awesome. Psychoframe is so the shit. good. The shit. Yes. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, just absolutely love that record. Mitch's vocals are untouchable. I don't think anyone's ever had that like gargly low the way yeah. that he did. And yeah, just absolutely adore it. It's the shit. Was there something you want to try, get, uh, try as well? Like, like this style of music, this style of deathcore with the pingy snare and stuff? I don't know. This, this is the guy with the pink. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for a new song, we're like in the process of mixing right now. Bob, actually, the guitar player at home, he uh, he referenced Psycho Frame for the snare. Oh. He wants the snare to sound that way. I was like, I don't know. I don't. Maybe we'll see. I know they called it the dodgeball snare, right? We, yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Literally, I think Matt Durkis for the last Bad Omens record actually used uh, like a kickball to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Band's unreal. Yeah. But. You are, you you actually mentioned right now the biggest local band for the next album for Toxicity. <laughs> Please tell yeah. me more about that. Um, so yeah, System of a Down. Uh, Toxicity, biggest local band of all time. Um, now I just I guess have fond memories of being a kid and like yeah. My mom taking me to school and like just listening to this record and I mean every song like you know every song on it. There's not like exactly a, yeah, it, yeah. It's all like super memorable. They they really did something um, magical with this uh, record. But it's loved it growing up. Um, listened to it recently yeah. and I was like, man, this is kind of bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. It's nostalgic. Nostalgia hits right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the songs are still fun. I think a song had come yeah. on. Like when we were doing like a, a VIP thing one day, and I was like, "Did this 
kind of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, and it also it doesn't. Yeah. Let's name four five. records that we listened to recently, and we were like, oh, wow, this actually sounds like shit. <laughs> 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 like, okay, you know? yeah. So this was actually produced, we, we've produced with Rick Rubin. Is this something you would look forward to to work with Rick Rubin, yeah. maybe? I don't know, man. I mean, Honestly, like, that's 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. If he might just be the kind that sits on the couch for us and goes like, yeah, that's his song, man. I, recent, <laughs> I recently uh, met someone who knows him well and did not have very great things to say All right, about him. all right, yeah. I won't mention who it is, at least on camera. I'll tell I you later. But, um, yeah, I just... I don't know. You know, it's like probably not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's responsible for some legendary records sure, for sure. So sure it's thing. like yeah. it'd be cool to. I, I would try anything. But I'll try it for sure. But like say like you know you look at like the Eminem relationship with him where it just didn't take. Nah. Like He's well, given yeah. him all of his trust. He's yeah. Like, sure. Know, sure. Done everything he can, but like it just didn't work for them. Yeah. But for some people, it really does. You know, definitely an yeah. interesting producer, right. but goaded for sure. Yeah. Mount Rushmore of producers. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. So Ryan, you picked live in Texas. Yes. I know you guys are from Texas, Texas right? I think that's part of why. I did, had did, to. did you did you just witness it when it came uh, up live on the on the tour? You we were around with the. I wasn't. I didn't go to the concert. The only time I've ever seen Lincoln Park live was the Carnivores tour. It oh yeah. Them, 30 Seconds to Mars, and AFI, oh, which is a, that's great. a 2015. Great, yeah. Um, I'm really happy I got to see it, especially, you know, after Chester passing. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I think I drew Meteora Hybrid Theory, like, got me into heavier music, yeah, along with, like, same, Avenged same. Sevenfold's music, True. like, sounding yeah. the seventh trumpet and stuff. So that was all kind of at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And I remember hearing Faint and thinking it was the heaviest song yeah. I'd ever heard in my entire life. Yeah. Awesome. But that whole Meteora record, I mean, Live in Texas is basically Hybrid Theory and Meteora, yeah, which yeah, are yeah. my two Points favorite. Points of Authority, also a very badass song, super heavy. I think Chester is like top five all-time rock yeah, vocalist, yeah, yeah. like his versatility. No doubt, no doubt. So he, he's a big reason I like wanted to start doing vocals All right, and yeah, stuff. yeah. Great record, great live oh, record. Yeah, amazing live. Yeah. So in the last one, you got you picked Diamond Eyes from Deftones. Yeah, um, this this record came out like I feel like uh, I can't I can't remember the year off the top of my head, but when it came out, I feel like a lot of my music tastes were really I don't know coming like developing into like what my you know tastes would be going for yeah. when I was a kid, and so like it's just. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. High, that was high school for me. But um, just hearing like standout tracks for me, like Diamond Eyes, uh, I love Sex Tape, um, Beauty School, I love. Yeah. I'm I'm actually, so like, I know a lot of people are pretty split on Deftones. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. some people hate them and some people love them and will defend them with their life. I'm like kind of in the middle. Like there's some Deftones songs that I think are just like, top tier some of the best songs i've ever heard and then there's some that i think are just like really bad right. um so i'm not like a i don't ride for life for them <laughs> in a way but like i really i do love them and like just the uh i don't know the all the ambience they use and the atmosphere they create i think they're really the first band that i like really heard put that much of a yeah. vibe into like creating that that feeling uh, um and i like it i like the contrast of that with heavy which yeah. is like maybe the last question to for all of you guys there's a the big d debate on online is this new metal or is it not i know i th I, th i think that i, I mean i probably consider it to be yeah yeah i think that um i, I guess it depends on what era of the band too um because i mean they were i wouldn't say definitely around you know whenever Corns and the lip yeah, and yeah. Stuff. So like, I would kind of consider it. New metal. I always did. Yeah. Yeah. Is I always considered them a new metal band. Like, even you know, just like beyond the music, like aesthetically, like mm -hmm. they were the just like yeah, yeah. Big baggy pants yeah. and yeah, chains sure. and. Is know, like, uh, is Lincoln Park new metal? Yeah, like, I, I would say that. yes. I would say they're a new metal band. Yeah. I guess in my head, I'm like it's alt alt. Alternative, yeah, alternative alt rock, metal, maybe. Yeah. It's like rock. ambient new metal. But I don't, <laughs> I mean, Deftones is definitely like, you know, it's funny, Chino's room looks like a 
ones across my bar. Just listening. So the, uh, Be careful. For our dressing rooms. But, like, I mean, if that guitar tone, the stuff that Steph yeah. has done, you, I mean, for what is happening with guitars right now, he may be, like, the most responsible. Okay. Like, you don't have a load without a deft tone. Yeah, you know sure, I mean? sure like, thing, sure thing. And that's no shade on what... what no, what no, I mean. no. Just saying, yeah. like, dudes, go to... Yeah, he does a he does a lot with a little. It's like yeah. nothing's too technical ever or complicated, but it it's just such a cool vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you for picking the records and talking yeah. about them. Uh, I wish you a great time on tour in Europe. You're with Bias Murder on tour, right? For the Europe some of the kind festivals, some kind of routings. Sure. Some of the routings. Yeah. yeah. Have a great time. Have a great trip back, and uh, I hope to see you again by soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks Thanks for thank